Good morning, third grade. Today is day eight of Book a Day with Miss A. It is also April 1st, 2020, and it is a Saturday. Just kidding. Today is not Saturday. It's just April Fool's Day, and unfortunately, that's all that I have for you. If we were at school, I would have done something a little bit more extravagant, but until then, we are going to be reading another fractured fairy tale. Now, this story includes a lot of characters that you are familiar with, but it's written in a different format. And the title of our story is called Yours Truly, Goldilocks. So it kind of sounds as if these are going to be lots of letters, because in letters, you will have a closing, such as sincerely or yours truly or with love or just from but those are all good closings to letters and this story is written by alma flor Ada, and it is illustrated by leslie tryon okay so here is the cover and you'll see that the cover has a wolf on it he looks like he's up to some sort of plan Let's dive into the story and figure out what's going on. Dear Goldilocks, thank you, thank you, thank you. The three of us had a great time at your birthday party. It was a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful party. That is, all three of us think it was wonderful. As you know, we have had a terrible time building our houses now that we are now that we are sure that no wolf can blow down our new house no matter how hard he huffs and puffs we would like to finally have a housewarming party on april 29th we would be very happy if you were our special guest we are also sending invitations to baby bear little red riding hood and peter rabbit we look forward to a wonderful day Love, love, love your three friends, pig one, pig two, and pig three. It says wolves keep out. Probably a good idea. Dearest granddaughter, you have such a wonderful imagination just to think a birthday party with bears, rabbits, and pigs. Well, well, I imagine you and Goldilocks must have had fun with your stuffed animals. Goldilocks sounds like a very nice girl. I have known the McGregor family for a long time. Years ago, when I lived on Riding Lane, I used to buy all my vegetables from them. Mr. McGregor is a stern man, but a wonderful gardener. Give a kiss to your mother for me. I hope you can come see me again soon. I'll be here all day on the 12th. Why not then? But you must keep your promise to stay on the trail this time. That encounter with the wolf was certainly not imaginary. Love, Grandma. Think back to a fairy tale story of a girl who decides to walk off of the path and encounters a wolf. Must be Little Red Riding Hood. Dear Cousin Wolfie, after my humiliation at their hands, my continued surveillance of the porcupine trio and their friends has finally proven useful. I have been led to believe that there will be a gathering at their house on the 29th of April for a housewarming party. This means that a delicious bunch of morsels, that is guests, will be attending and I have a stupendous plan to ensure that not all of them will return home. A deep trench on Royal Road after the fork will force them to take Forest Trail. It will not be difficult for us to ambush them there. After their party at the Stubborn Brick House, we will show them a true party in my majestic tower. What do you think? Why don't you come to stay on the 27th? That will give us ample time for the necessary preparations. Affectionately, 
ferocious. There's that wolf from our cover coming up with his plan. Dear Goldilocks, have you received an invitation from the three pigs for their housewarming party? After all the fun we had at your birthday, it will be wonderful to get to all get together again. You certainly have interesting friends. I wrote a long letter to my grandmother telling her all about your birthday party. And she doesn't believe it's true that Peter Rabbit, Baby Bear, and the three pigs were there. When I visit her the day after tomorrow, I will take the invitation to the housewoman party and tell her all about it in person. And she will see it is true. Do you want to go together to the pigs party? My mother says it is okay if you want to come the day before and spend the night. And she will make us some of her special gingerbread cookies. Your good friend, Little Red Riding Hood. Dear Little Red Riding Hood, yes, I did receive the invitation and I would love to spend the night at your house and go together to the housewarming party. Do you have any idea what one does at a housewarming party? I know the pigs have been trying to have one for a long time. Do you think we bring blankets to warm the house? Baby Bear would like for us to play hide and seek a week from Sunday. His cousins, Teddy and Osidio, are visiting. Do you want to go? I love houses in the forest, don't you? Be careful on your visit to your grandmother. My father says there definitely are still wolves around. I have to write to the pigs and baby bear, and I still need to water three rows of vegetables. So I must go now. Your busy friend, Goldilocks. Dear Cousin Fur, you are definitely right about the forthcoming event on April 29th. Yesterday, as I was trailing that appetizing looking creature in red, she seemed to have gotten scared somehow. As she ran into her grandmother's house, she dropped an invitation on the path. Sure enough, those pigs of yours are inviting everyone to a housewarming party. I am enclosing that foolish card for your perusal. I found, I found any mention to warming their house somewhat distasteful. Their description of their abode, pretend of their abode is pretentious and their reference to us rather offensive. There is no question that I will join you in your efforts. I like your plan and I will be there on the 27th with ready paws and sharpened teeth. Your affectionate cousin, Wolfie. There's the wolf walking after Little Red. Dear Baby Bear, your letter was very nice. I have always loved getting letters. Although, right now, I am getting so many, I can't find enough time to, to answer back. And my father is always after me to go water the vegetables. I don't mind too much watering the lettuces and the carrots. They grow close to the well, and I don't have to carry the watering can that far. But the spinach and the peas are much farther away, and that full can gets heavy. I can't understand how anyone likes to eat that green stuff anyway. I would love to go to your house to play hide and seek a week from Sunday and meet your cousins, Teddy and Obsidio. I have already asked Little Red Riding Hood to come also. Your very good and busy friend, Goldilocks. Dear Pig 1, Pig 2, and Pig 3, a housewarming party sounds like a terrific idea. I love parties, but I have never been to a housewarming one yet. How do we warm the house? Do you want us to bring blankets? Little Bear would like to play hide and seek. Would you like to come to his house a week from today? His cousins, Teddy and Osidio, will be there also. Have you seen or heard from Peter Rabbit? I haven't heard anything from him, except that the one carrot I leave each night outside the hedge is always gone the next morning. Do you know if he is all right? 
things are a lot quieter in my house since my father doesn't complain anymore about stolen vegetables, but I miss Peter. If you come to the bear's house, please bring him along. Your friend, Goldilocks. Dear Goldilocks, my friends the pigs came to see me yesterday after you all played hide and seek at the bears. Sorry I couldn't be there. They told me you were worried about me and I am sorry I have not written before. You see, I have been in bed for almost three weeks with measles. Your carrots have been wonderful. Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail have been picking them up every morning at dawn. They did not get measles this time because they all had it last year. My mother has been feeding us carrot soup, carrot salad, and carrot cake. I love carrots. She has also been feeding me gallons of chamomile tea. You know my mother loves chamomile tea. Now, now that the measles are all gone, I will be able to go to the pig's party Sunday. See you there. Thanks again for the carrots. Your dearest friend, Peter Rabbit. P.S. The pigs convinced my mother to allow Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail to come to the party. They are dying to meet you. There's the party. Uh-oh. Take a look at what's happening in these pages. What do you notice? I notice two very scared little girls. I also noticed some very scared and terrified looking little rabbits. Baby Bear also looks a little frightened. And I think he's frightened because he sees the two angry and hungry wolves. I've also noticed that in this bag from the wolf, there is a floppy ear hanging out. Hmm, could that be Peter Rabbit? Interesting. Is that who the wolves were originally wanting to get? Hmm. I didn't think it was. I thought they were coming after the pigs. Hmm. Dear Mrs. Bear, I wanted my mother to help me write a letter to you, but she says that if I can, but she says that if I can get into trouble all by myself, I should be able to write this letter all by myself. The first thing I want to say is thank you very much. Thank you for saving me from those two terrible wolves. As you know, it is usually not very easy for a wolf to catch a rabbit, and I could race those two and win easily any time. But, but I was talking to Goldilocks about the party and didn't even see them coming. Before I knew it, I was inside that ugly bag. I thought it was the end of all of us. They tell me you are terrific, and I wish I could have helped you instead of, instead of being inside that smelly bag. Thank you again for saving my life. Gratefully yours, Peter Rabbit. P.S. Although my mother wanted me to write the letter, she is very thankful too, and it wouldn't surprise me at all if she were planning something special to thank you. So as it turns out, Mama Bear did come to the rescue of Peter Rabbit. She got him out of that bag and safely back to his home. Dear Mrs. Raccoon, your cousin, Mr. Wolfie Lupus and I are in great need of your services again. Both of us have been the unfortunate victims at the paws of an angry mother bear. Since we are both bedridden, would you be able to make us would you be able to make a house call to take the necessary measurements? I will be needing a new tail. I trust you will be able to provide one of an elegant deep gray color to match the rest of my beautiful fur. My cousin will require some large patches on the back as well as a supplementary ear. To imagine that a bear would go to such lengths 
to defend a couple of little girls and some silly rabbits. We certainly did not mean to bother her bear cub at all. We look forward to hearing from you at your earliest convenience, since we would like to change our sorrowful state. Sincerely, Fur Oro Fur Oceus. Poor wolves. Can't say that I feel sorry for them, though. Hmm. Dear Pig 1, Pig 2, and Pig 3, your housewarming party was truly spectacular. I didn't know what a house party was, was all about before it started. It was great to realize that a house is warmed with friends, fun, and laughter. As I am sure you know by now, several of us had a horrific experience on our way home after the party. It was very scary. Little Red Riding Hood and I have been thinking we should all get together to plan how to thank Miss how to thank Mother Bear for saving our lives and how to make sure those ugly wolves cannot hurt us. Please begin thinking of wonderful ideas. When we decide a time and place to meet, we will let you know. Enjoy your brick house. Yours truly, Goldilocks. Now that is the end of the story, but here's the last picture of the wolf. Hmm, poor thing. I hope that you enjoyed this book as much as I did. If I receive a book request, I will certainly do my best to read it. If not, I will choose another fractured fairy tale from our text set. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. Remember that tomorrow, Thursday at 10 a.m., we will have another Zoom meeting. Can't wait to see you then. Bye, third grade.